Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given math puzzle by filling in these boxes with appropriate values. And we will be using this univariable and inverse method to solve this puzzle. And by the way, univariable means we will be dealing with only one variable, just one. And inverse means that we are talking about additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. Additive means we will be dealing with addition and subtraction and multiplication inverse means we will be dealing with multiplication and division. Let me remind you that I have already uploaded the very first method of this very same problem. And today I am going to show you the second method as well. Therefore, I will highly recommend you that you watch both of these videos for the sake of comparison. And please feel free to give me your feedback as which method is more desirable. And to watch the first method video, please click on the link above or wait for the end screen thumbnail link. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution on this problem. So since we are dealing with the univariable, that means we will be working with just one variable and the variable I will be using is x variable. Let me just write down x variable in this very first box and then I am going to ask you what value I should just put it down in R to have 43. As we can see that we have x over here and we will be using the inverse method. The additive inverse of this x is negative x so this box is going to have 43 minus x and if you can add these one x plus 43 minus x we will indeed get 43 and now we are going to apply the same strategy when we are dealing with this column over here and as you can see we got x over here we need to fill out something in this box to get a 31 so again I am going to write down 31 minus x isn't it and now as you can see if I add x plus 31 minus x x and x is gone so we ended up with 31 so far so good and now let's go ahead and focus on this row over here and as we can see, we got a 31 minus x in this box. We are supposed to put down something over here. If we divide, we should get a 13. And this time we will be dealing with the division and we know the inverse of the division is a multiplication. So therefore, we are going to write down 31 minus x divided by 13 and that is going to give us 13 and if you are wondering how I got this quantity over here let me go ahead and explain it over here we got this quantity over here divided by this one is right up here and then what I did is since we are dealing with the division if we put a multiplication sign we have to flip this one over and we got 13 over 31 minus x and you can see that these 31 minus x both of them have gone and so we end up with 13 and that's what we're supposed to have and here is our final step let's focus on this column over here and we are going to deal with this one and here we got 43 minus x let me write down 43 minus x and then we got a division sign divided by we got 31 minus x over 13 and this should be equal to this quantity 19. Now let's go ahead and simplify this equation. I can write 43 minus x 
times, I'm going to convert it into a multiplication by just flipping it over 13 divided by 31 minus x equals to 19. So far so good. Now let me go ahead and put a 1 underneath this 19 to make it a fraction. And now we are going to cross multiply. Let's go ahead and do that one. So that means that's going to become 1 times this thing is going to be simply 13 times 43 minus x equal to 19 times this thing. So that's going to be a 19 times 31 minus x. And now let's go ahead and distribute these one. That's going to give us 559 minus 13x. And likewise, we are going to distribute this 19 as well. That's going to give us 589 minus 19x. Now let's move this 559 on the right hand side and move this negative 19x on the left hand side to make things simple. So we are going to get negative 13x and this negative 19x is going to become positive 19x. We got on the right hand side 589 and this is going to become negative 559. And let's simplify on the left hand side. That's going to give us 6x equals to 30. Let's divide both sides by 6. So x turns out to be our 5 value. So thus our value in this first box turns out to be 5 and the rest is piece of cake. And now wherever we see in other boxes x, I am going to replace it by 5. This x is replaced by 5 and this x is being replaced by 5. And let's go ahead and simplify. 43 minus 5 is going to give us 38. Likewise, over 31 minus 5 is going to give us 26. And over here, 31 minus 5 is going to be a 26 divided by 13 is going to give us 2. So thus our final values turns out to be a 5, 38, 26 and 2 by using this univariable and inverse method. And these values satisfy our puzzle. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.